French President Emmanuel Macron is set to face far-right politician Marine Le Pen in the final round of France's election. The two candidates came out on top in the first round of voting over the weekend. Now, the final round is scheduled for April 24th. CBS News correspondent Elaine Cobb is following this from Paris for us. Elaine, thanks for joining us. First off, you know, here in the States, we may not be as familiar with um, this sort of second round of voting. So can you explain the first round of voting, the results, and what brought us here to the second round? So the first round yesterday was, there, there were 12 candidates, and the two top runners were Le Pen and Macron. Macron came in with a five-point lead over Le Pen, which should seem comfortable, but he still has a long way to go. The fight is not over yet. The two top runners of the first round always go through to a second round unless someone gets an absolute majority, which hasn't happened in a very long time. And so that's who we will see um, Sunday, April 24th, facing off each other and hoping to bring in some of the votes from all of the other candidates who lost out yesterday. Hmm. So, uh, Elaine, this is the second election in a row where Marine Le Pen has qualified for the final round. Uh, I, re I recall interviewing her back in 2015, I think it was. It was, it was a while ago. Um, uh, but she was sort of, you know, explaining to me how she's building on this momentum around her um, and her party and the issues and where she stands on them. Um, so give us a breakdown of where her support overall in France is at this point. Marine Le Pen has been toning down her rhetoric, her extremist rhetoric, in the hope of appearing much more reasonable. And, but let's not forget that neither she, both she and Macron, got the same scores, more or less, as they got five years ago in that first round yesterday. So she hasn't actually built up any more mm. at this stage. They will go against each other in two weeks' time. Last time around, there was a united front behind Macron, including people who weren't necessarily his supporters so that they could block her but this time around a lot of people particularly on the left and center left are saying look we expected more from you and so we're not going to back you we may just abstain and that is a bit of a risk for Macron now he did come in five years ago promising to end extremism but in yesterday's vote fully a third of voters chose one of the far-right candidates another 22 percent chose the far left so so it's clear he failed on that score. So she's been toning down her far right rhetoric, but what about her policies, particularly uh, foreign policy? I've been reading that Emmanuel Macron was sort of getting some, some criticism for his high stakes, high profile meetings with Vladimir Putin and essentially critics saying, why don't you come back home and take care of the problems, you know, in the country that you're the president of. <laughs> but what would foreign policy look like under a President Le Pen? Uh, it would be very worrying for most of France's allies because she has openly said that she wants closer ties with Russia and with Hungary and Serbia, all who have far-right leaders. Um, she's not so keen on Europe. She has stopped saying she'd pull France out of Europe. I think the Brexit example would make anyone shy of that idea. But she's definitely more, in, more likely to step back a little bit more. So it would be something that would leave Americans and other allies concerned about her actually getting involved. And certainly, while her rhetoric has changed, her policies have not, even though she did condemn the invasion of Ukraine shortly after it happened, she still believes that Putin should be an ally for France. Mm. Mm. All right. Uh, Elaine Cobb, I got to say, uh, just seeing your live shot there in front of the Ark, where I could just behind you, or at least I think I uh, can, see uh, the street that I used to live on, uh, Avenue Fush, uh, is certainly making me homesick for I, this I saw, movable feast. I saw you getting misty-eyed, like you had left really, us for a it's second. It's a beautiful spring day in Paris. Uh, <laughs> you know, there are many days where I sit down and I say to myself, why did I ever leave? Why did I ever leave? Uh, it's good to New see York's you, Elaine. great. What are you talking about? New York about? is wonderful, I know. It no is, place like New York. There's nothing like Paris. There is nothing like Paris, as Elaine knows. Thank you, Elaine. Indeed. You're welcome.